Hi, welcome back to UA Technical Solutions. In this tutorial train CVG FSVG 02AN centrifugal compressor overhauling step-by-step -step guidelines from OEM are explained. Please note part 2 of this video will be available soon. Suction housing removal. After the actuator has been removed, move inlet guide vane arm to ensure the shaft moves. Remove the guide vane linkage lever from the drive arm by driving out the roll pin. Remove the paint from the shaft using an acetone spray or similar product. Do not use emery tape or a mechanical device as this may damage the shaft. Ensure the shaft is free from burrs etc. Remove the 5 bolts from the vane arm seal housing and withdraw the housing from the vane shaft. You will now notice that the shaft contains another sleeve over the vane arm. This sleeve drives the first stage vanes. Remove the roll pin from sleeve. Mount the suction cover lifting bracket to the suction face of the suction housing and install the 4 mounting bolts. Place tension on the lifting device and remove all of the suction housing cover bolts. At the same time install two extension bolts near the top to prevent the housing from dropping. While the suction housing is being removed, ensure the sleeve for the first stage vane assembly is moved along the shaft until clear. Shown in figure 3. First stage IGV removal. Only remove the first stage inlet guide vanes from the suction housing if failure has occurred or requires cleaning. Place the suction housing in a horizontal position with the first stage inlet guide vane assembly facing upwards. Remove all bolts from flange surrounding the IGV. Remove vane. Assembly from housing and inspect clean all parts removing gaskets and sealants. Lubrication pads with oil and anti-rust sealant or train oil 37 and seal with plastic sheeting to prevent contamination. Removal of first stage nose seal. Measure the first stage nose seal, labyrinth seal, clearance. Due to the small diameter of the seal and the impeller, it is recommended to use feeler gauge with the width of tips no greater than one quarter inch. It is recommended to measure the clearances at 12, 6, 3, and 9 o'clock. Measurements at these points have been considered into the required clearances. Record this information for reference only, with a permanent marker. Mark the top of the seal, in reference to the top of the compressor, for use during assembly, remove the bolts holding the seal in place, remove nose seal, inspect the internal diameter for wear, if the impeller has contacted the seal, producing wear, replace impeller and seal ring. Removal of first stage diffuser plate. Remove 19 retainer bolts and install the 3 7 inch long all thread rods to use as jacking bolts, install lifting bracket onto first stage diffuser plate, caution when installing the 4 bolts as to not damage the impeller, Remove plate and discard o-ring. Measuring first stage runout, end play, and discharge duct alignment. Install dial indicator on side of nose of first impeller and measure the runout. Record for reference only. See figure 6. Install a dial indicator on face of impeller and measure end play. Record for reference only minimum 0.014 inch or 0.356 mm to maximum 0.020 inch or 0.508 mm. See figure 7. Using a dial test indicator, a flat piece of steel and feeler gauges. Measure the surface of the discharge duct of the impeller and the surface of the diffuser plate. The difference should be between 0.00, 0.0 mm, and minus 0.005 inch minus 0.127 mm, record for reference only. Removal of first stage impeller. Install pinion bolt removal tool and install allen key into tool and remove the pinion bolt, washers and retainer plate, remove the first stage impeller. Removal of first stage impeller. Install pinion bolt removal tool and install allen key into tool and remove the pinion bolt, washers and retainer plate, remove the first stage impeller. If unable to remove by hand apply low heat using air propane torch to circumference of inner hub for a period of less than 15 seconds and then pull off by hand. Note. Do not remove with the aid of pullers. Remove and record the thickness of any shims found behind impeller. Install collar pinion bushing including pinion bolt, washer and retainer. Measuring inter-stage seal clearances. With the aid of the required narrow nose feeler gauges, measure the clearances between the interstage shaft spacer and the interstage seal. Measurements must be made at 12, 6, 3, and 9 o'clock. 
with a permanent marker marked the top of the seal in reference to the top of the compressor for use during assembly, remove the 6 6 mm bolts holding the seal in place and remove the seal, inspect for internal and external markings where spacer might have come in contact with. Labyrinth seal or come loose on pinion shaft. Please note part 2 of this video will be available soon. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe us at UA Technical Solutions.